Hello my lovely friends, my name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer. Welcome to my home bar and welcome to another video which is gonna bring to you three cocktails today based on vodka. And I know, for years many people say, but vodka it's not really anything special, there's no flavor, nothing really kind of interesting going on. But of course, we can't ignore it because Despite the fact that many famous cocktails it's based on vodka, like the Cosmopolitan, or vodka martini, or espresso martini, or a French martini, just to name a few, doesn't matter what people say, vodka always gonna be there. And, ready or not, is the perfect base for a cocktail when you want other ingredients to shine through and you don't want to introduce any other flavor. Maybe if you're using a gin or a bourbon or a whiskey or a brandy or anything else which hold its own flavor and a character. So, no matter what people say, vodka always gonna be there. And today I'm gonna introduce three of the cocktails which I really like. And all three, it's for different time to be served and enjoyed. So it's up to you if you wanna try them like I will suggest or you just wanna try them. It really doesn't matter. Today we're gonna use two different vodkas. One of them is potato, just because it's very creamy. I have this sweet note. It's very nice and smooth, and it's a wonderful vodka to be paired with the fresh fruits, like we're doing in one of the cocktail called Courtside today. On the other hand, the other two cocktails are gonna be with a grain vodka, and today I'm using Ukrainian three grain vodka, which is fantastic because it's a sharp, it's crispy, and it's wonderful pairing with the ingredients which I'm gonna use. One of them it's gonna be the Greyhound's Tooth and the other cocktail it's called Bernice. So my friends, if you're ready, let's start. But first, I'm gonna press here magical button because I have a new assistant, which it's not a human being. It's an automatic slider, which kind of is gonna help me to get a little bit more creative and save me some time. And it's kind of a going down just because we're gonna focus on the cocktails we're making today. So grab your shakers and let's do three cocktails with vodka which I really like. The first cocktail we're starting with the Greyhound's Tooth and we're gonna start with our main ingredients, of course, and this is the vodka. We're going with 45 ml or an ounce and a half of the vodka. Next ingredient is gonna be 22 and a half of a lovely herbal liqueur, Benedictine. If you never try one, I suggest you try it and you'll be surprised how good it is. The other ingredients, it's a freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, pink grapefruit juice uh, recommended, but you can go with the white if you don't have. It's 22 and a half mil again. Seven and a half mil of rich sugar syrup. You can use simple, if you use simple syrup, make sure you increase at least to 15 mil, okay? And finally, we have eight drops of Greyford bitters, which is gonna bring a little bit more zestiness and bitterness to the cocktail, combined with the red Greyford juice inside already. And we filled up with ice. And we're gonna give it a really brief, quick shake, just for a 10 seconds. go. Grab your glass of choice. In this case I'm gonna serve in this kind of a martini glass. And of course we need double straining because we don't want any of the ice shreds inside. We want a nice and clear cocktail. There you go. And to garnish just a nice lemon zest on the side. And this, my friends, is the Great Hound's Tooth. Perfect summer cocktail. Amazing for a starter before dinner or a meal. We're gonna try just after we finish the rest of it. So let's move to the next one. And we're gonna start with our 
Bernice. Now, the Bernice cocktail is based on a vodka again, and originally it's made with Galliano, but we're gonna make today with a Strega liqueur, and I will explain why when I test it after, but let's do the cocktail first, okay? So we have 45 ml of the nice grain vodka, or again, ounce and a half. Then you have seven and a half ml of liqueur Strega, or as I mentioned, originally it's made with Galliano, but I will explain why I supplement the Galliano with the Strega. Then you have a 15 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice, just 10 ml of the nice sugar syrup. Again, rich sugar syrup. There you go, some ice. A good quick shake again for about 10 seconds. Okay, we're nearly ready to serve, but what we need here, it's our glass. I'm gonna serve in a lovely Nick and Nora glass and just gonna drop a touch of absent inside some people shake the absent with a cocktail. I prefer just to coat the glass. I don't want to be shaken. I just want to release this lovely anise flavor from the absent, which is going to pair fantastically with the Strega liqueur. And of course, double strain. Beautiful. And to finish, just a lovely, nice, small mint leaf, just float on the top. And this is it. This is a wonderful cocktail bernice, perfect for after dinner, because you have this lovely digestive kind of a touch coming from the strega liqueur, from the lime juice, from the absinthe. So it's a wonderful sip after meal. And now we go to the last one. And the last one, of course, is gonna be a kind of a cocktail for summer time, which you can enjoy any time of the day or whatever you want really so for this cocktail we're going to use fresh fruit this is called the court side the cocktail and we need one strawberry cut in four quarters so you put it inside and you need three fresh raspberries we're going to keep two raspberries for a garnish but now we're going to start with our vodka so we're going to use 35 ml of the vodka and here we're gonna stop just for the second because we need to muddle the fruit it will break when you shake but it's much better if you help the fruit to release some of the flavors because when you shake we're gonna release the rest of the juice inside now the next ingredient it's elderflower liqueur i'm gonna be using saint germain and this is 15 ml So then we're gonna go with 45 ml of apple juice, cloudy apple juice. Make sure it's a fresh cold press apple juice, not from concentrate, okay? 15 ml of fresh lime juice. Siri, I don't want you to talk to me at the moment. I'm sorry about this. And finally, again, 10 ml of the rich sugar syrup. And this is it, the main ingredients, it's ready. We are ready to shake. Now here you need to give it a good shake. Could be around 10 seconds, but give it a really good shake to break this fruit inside. Perfect. Now it's gonna be served in a high bowl glass over ice. So filled up your glass with ice. And again, I need a strainer here. Preferably double strain because you're gonna have the fruit inside from the raspberries and strawberries. You don't want any of this in the glass. You just want the lovely juice. And look at that color. It's absolutely fantastic summer drink. I do serve this at the bar I work at the moment and it's literally flying. People really love it because it's 
wonderful refreshing summery drink with a lovely fruit flavor coming through it is just fantastic finally the last touch of the cocktail is to top up with a little bit of soda water on the top just a little bit we're gonna use a glass straw today just a little stir pop the glass straw and as I mentioned the garnish is gonna be our fresh raspberries so put two fresh raspberries or three if you want on a stick and again a lovely sprig of a fresh mint and there you have it my friends that's the court side a wonderful cocktail for every day for lovely summer in the garden or just with friends just to enjoy have a nice sip and while my slider is going back to normal we're gonna test them but first i'm gonna have to stop let me just have a look oh that looks good that looks good okay i like this little gadget it's a very good very helpful assistant and doesn't ever complain so it's fantastic so court side guys first i've tried already but for the sake of the video we're gonna do a testing Who? absolutely no surprise you have the raspberries coming through you have the strawberry coming through you have the elderflower the apple juice everything coming through and it's basically tastes like a wonderful summer fruity juice you can feel any of the spirits as i say you can increase the vodka here if you want and you can have a little bit more stronger but i suggest keep on 35 mil it's gonna be so good and you can have a few instead of getting really fast drunk but if that's your game do it right next one bernice a wonderful digestive in my opinion a wonderful cocktail after dinner because it's sour it's basically a vodka daiquiri if we can put it this way but it's coming with the herbal notes from the strega liqueur so cheers mm. boy i love that the absent the strega liqueur now as i mentioned originally it's done with galliano which is more on the vanilla side if you prefer this kind of a flavor you can get a galliano or a liqueur 43f or 34 it was i think it's 43 anything which is more kind of a vanilla even you can go with a vanilla liqueur a good vanilla liqueur if you like more this kind of a flavor in my case i prefer the strega because I find the Strega working fantastic with vodka and with the lemon juice because you have this kind of a anise liquorish taste and it's wonderful as a digestivo. You put only 7.5 ml so it's not much but it's bring enough of this flavor. If you can't find the Strega liqueur around, you can try with pasties, you can even try with Perno or Ricard. Just experiment. It's one of these cocktails which you can build to your test. Yeah, it not necessarily have to be following the recipe exactly. But you can follow the core of the recipe and then just go for it and finally the first one which we make and this is the greyhound's tooth as i say it's a wonderful cocktail for starter before dinner because it's boozy it's dry and sour so cheers no surprise fantastic you can feel the vodka here not in terms of flavor but you have this spirit kick but then you have the wonderful grapefruit coming through and of course the benedictine the herbal liqueur brings a touch of sweetness and this herbaceous notes is just a wonderful starter of your dinner or a lunch so there you go my friends courtside bernie's greyhound's tooth three wonderful vodka cocktails i hope you're gonna have a chance to try or at least one of them and please let me know of course if you're new to the channel don't forget you can always subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss the videos and leave me a comment okay don't be shy for now i'm gonna go enjoy these tipos and i'll see you soon with another video next week and as always i love you and i leave you bye bye